Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Sunset Riders. Sunset Riders is a run-and-gun shooter that was developed by Konami in 1991. In the late 80s and early 90s, Konami was on a roll with back-to-back -back hits like TMNT 1 and 2 and The Simpsons. They just figured out the formula for producing a successful side-scrolling beat-em-up game, and they just ran with it. But looking at it objectively, the Konami games were kind of riding on the popularity of already established popular cartoons of the era. However, this shouldn't take away from the quality of the games. The controls were solid, the action was fast paced with a ton of sprites, and the music was amazing. All this in combination with fun characters that everybody recognized and loved, Konami couldn't fail and would prove to be a worthy rival to the dominant 2D fight genre that was beginning to gain some serious momentum at the time. But for Konami, Sunset Riders would prove to be the anomaly in terms of being incredibly popular without using established pop icons. In this game, you and or four other players have the option to choose choose from four bounty hunters to take out the most wanted outlaws of the west and claim your due rewards. Each character has his or own unique weapon. It's kind of like TMNT but with guns. The game's aesthetic is like your prototypical four player Konami game, but the gameplay feels like a merge with the platform jumping of Rolling Thunder with the controls and gameplay of Mystic Warriors. Actually, the game plays a lot like Mystic Warriors and that's because the director of the game Hideyuki Tsujimoto also worked on Mystic Warriors as well as Contra and Super C. The game is non-repetitive and pretty entertaining. Whether it's jumping and running on top of a stampede, riding your horse along a speeding locomotive, shooting gallery bonus rounds, cheesy one-liners, or fighting on top of a chandelier, the game does a good job of keeping the player engaged. Like most Konami games of this era, the game is pretty easy if you have a fistful of quarters handy in your pocket. You'll pretty much breeze through the game. Sunset Riders was ported over to the SNES and the Genesis. Even though the SNES version was the better game, it still underwent a lot of censorship as did a lot of the SNES titles to broaden sales by making games more family friendly. So a lot of things that may be bawdy or perceived as racially offensive were cut. You kind of have to play the original arcade game to get the full experience. Unfortunately, these are the only ports I know of and I don't think it was included in any next gen classics compilations. Now, this leads to a larger, more problematic issue. You see, arcade games are a zeitgeist of a particular era in gaming history. After Nintendo's aggressive play of cornering the retro market by closing and imposing crippling lawsuits on ROM sites, Nintendo will ultimately dictate the fate of retro games. So any retro games that would be re-released on their platforms may be subjected to alterations or censorship based on contemporary social standards or corporate interests. Social issues is always a delicate topic, but tend to evolve over time through debates and awareness. But in my personal opinion, we shouldn't alter or erase history based on current political correctness. Rather learn from it and leave it as an indicator for ethical and moral growth. This is why I didn't have a problem with emulators because other than being free, it did make an attempt to preserve the game and all its revisions unaltered after it's been long forgotten. But there's one thing that won't be forgotten and it's this game. And I say, if you ever run into the arcade cabinet, strap on your six shooter, run down to the saloon and let me know what you think.